So today is a busy day here in Hong Kong. We have plans to do the world's biggest bronze Buddha. Then we're gonna head over to Disneyland to make it our final Disneyland on this trip. And then hopefully if we have time, we're gonna to try to do the night market here. And yeah, we're spending the night, so we're still gonna to to do a lot more tomorrow. Big city, lots to do. Um, but otherwise, it's a little hazy out here right now. But it is 7.30 in the morning. We've just been cleared by customs, so we're gonna get downstairs, head over to the train station. I think it takes about an hour to two hours, something like that, to get to the Buddha, which we'll do first. And then, I think it's only 20 minutes for the Buddha to get to Disney. So, yeah, let the adventure begin. We made it to the Tung Chung Cable Car Terminal. And this is the last stop on the train stations. And from here, you basically walk just a few minutes over to the cable cars that go up in the air over to where the big Buddha is. Because like I said, it's supposed to be one of the largest Buddhas in the world. And yeah, I'm super excited to see that. We already passed Disney. It was one stop behind. So we're gonna do this for a little bit, take some pictures, head back that way to Disneyland and hope that the weather stays as pretty as it is. It's supposed to be in, uh, I think, 77, 80, something like that. So, so far, fantastic weather here and super easy train ride. It took just about an hour to get here on the train, so we're very fortunate that it was so easy and I think we spent about three bucks or so to get here, so. Yeah, pretty cheap and pretty easy, so I'm super excited. Let's head up onto the cable cars. I don't know if you see them, but they're right back there. Everybody, so we're just gonna go across the street and see the views. 360 um, degree views. So we made it to the Nagong Ping 360 Sky Tram up to the Buddha ride. There's two versions, there's one with a glass bottom and one without a glass bottom, still 360 degrees. Um, we chose to do the glass bottom first and then the second round we'll just do the normal tram down. But that's what it looks like. We'll catch you on the inside. So we're gonna head on in there, we're like, one, we're like number three in line. So I will catch you on the inside. Enjoy the ride. Well, I don't mind to slow down anymore. I don't mind the sound of my shoes on your floor. I don't mind selling out or playing cover song. As long as we made it to the first station, enjoying the ride, 360 views. Get the see through floor, which is really cool. A little scary not knowing in that class. There's a lot of people in this tram right now. It's my nights alone. Cause in my heart, I hate speed. On my face, I feel you breathe next to me. Two by land, by air, by sea. And that is how it's supposed to be. Now, and that much I can see. Now, I'm actually hiking through all of this. I'll give it up to him. I'll take the easy way up. Can't imagine. It's a, it's a good walk, but the stairs and the floor are all good. It looks really good. And we're on Lan Tao Island. That's where Disney is, and that's where this big Buddha is. Lan Tao Island. Well worth the money. And well worth the views. Ooh. Now, it's like we're in the island of King Kong. Very foggy. We're about to go through the fog. Can't see a thing. 
So we might not be able to see it through that well, but here we go, into the mist. We were just going to the Stephen King movie and head up and disappear. Maybe. Now, if they don't love us, we don't need them. Let's find our own brand of freedom. They don't love us, we don't need them. So I guess we stopped right over here in the no, town. And then from the town, we walk over to the Buddha. And getting closer. I don't mind the sound of my shoes on your floor. Anymore, anymore. So he's survived the 360 and sky floor adventure. We're gonna walk to the Buddha now. And there's a cute little town right where the sky tram ends. So we're gonna walk around that for a little bit and then go take a closer look at this. So we entered the two gates. We got a long pathway here with little soldier statues lining the whole street. So it's kind of cool. It, it's like a little city here. There's shopping, um, food. I even saw a subway up here, which was crazy. So, yeah, we can see the Buddha from right here, right there. That thing is massive. So we're gonna keep on heading up the trail way up there. And I think it's like 200 and some steps up to the Buddha once you actually get there. I guess they're just randomly walking around because here's another one. Just, just here in the street chilling. Not only is that one, I guess he's going to his friend. The other one right there. Somebody gave him an apple to eat. They're passing out some incense candles. And there's a whole lot of things in there, blowing a lot of smoke. And I guess you got the temple in there. So we're gonna just take a quick look inside. So I'm gonna be quiet and just show you around, okay? So apparently from one temple to another, this place seems endless. More incense, more statues. So we're gonna take a look at this, then run back up the stairs to go to see the big Buddha, and then head to Disney. Because you could easily spend half a day here. Apparently, that little entrance right there goes to the Grand Hall of 10,000 Buddhas, they said it is called. So, a lot of incense burning here. Now the fun part. We're gonna go through this gate real quick. And then, we're gonna head up the 200 and some stairs. Let's start the hike up to the top. I actually see some of my Holland America cruise people here. This is very cool. Thank you. 
So we just finished the Buddha. We just came back on the tram. We are on our way back right now to um, the train station. So we go to Disney. Um, so we're only there about two hours or so at the Buddha. Lots to see. Oh, this is kind of cool. Very cool. So we must say, obviously, hit a little gift shop. Can't leave anything without exiting a gift shop on the way out. So on our way out, look at the line. It is, it is more crowded now than when we got here an hour after it opened. It is crowded. It actually, <laughs> it, the end of the line goes all the way out to the street. So it is crazy busy here. So look at this. Yeah, that's right. The street is lined with people waiting to go up on this sky tram and hit the Buddha. And if we hadn't had, if we hadn't had Disney to go to and try to do the night market, so many little things to do, we would probably could easily stay there half a day. There's so much to see back there. But alas, we have to mark Disney off our list. So let's head to the train station. End of the line. Use my little ticket. Oop, oh, not working. Switch lines. Now get out the train station back there. And welcome, Hong Kong Disneyland. It is crowded, but which Disney is not crowded. So super excited. This is the last Disney while I'm on this cruise ship. We still have, after today, we will only have Paris Disney that we have not done in this planet. So this is going to be a blast. Thankfully, the only tickets I was able to buy back in the US online was Hong Kong. Everything else apparently I had to buy when I entered here to their country but yeah we're gonna have a blast today so just right in front of me or right now right behind me we got disney we got mickey mouse surfing off the blowhole of this whale take a look at this Tell me, that is not the tiniest castle you've ever seen. And we enter Tomorrow World. Space Mountain over there. On the ground they have Orbitron. We're used to over in Florida having it up. so far at Disneyland, they're like 10 to 20 minute waits, some five. So the only part that's uh, 30 minutes is uh, we in the pool. Otherwise everything else is under 20, so it should be a fantastic day. We're gonna try this Iron Man experience, see how we do. So just did the Iron Man experience, one of the 3D motion ride vehicle thing. It was super fun. Now we're gonna all right, Charlie, it says 20 minutes, so we're going to go over to Space Mountain and do that. And then keep on, and we just finished eating our Iron Man burger and fries. A little small, but not bad. I was wrong. 
it is not 20 minutes, it's less than 10 minute wait. So we're definitely gonna do this Space Mountain. So we just did the Space Mountain, but it was called Hyper Space Mountain, and it had basically set with Star Wars. So we were laser shooting, we were fighting the enemies and flying, and it was a fun roller coaster. Um, a little different than Space Mountain, I still like Space Mountain better, but otherwise this was fun. Now we're just waiting for the parade to start, and then continue. It's, it seems like it's a small park here. It's a very small uh, Disneyland. Even the castle was very tiny. And they're doing construction behind it, so I can't get too close to it. But yeah, a few minutes before the parade starts, and I'll see you after the parade. Awesome as always. And it is the back side of the castle. You notice they're doing a lot of construction back there. So you can't even get close to it. Pieces are missing and whatnot. So I don't know, I don't know if they're just refurbishing it or trying to make it totally different or whatnot. But yeah, that's the back side of the construction on the castle. The base is pretty much like Disneyland back home, uh, except it feels smaller. And of course, it's a great day. The weather is like 80 degrees and all the rides are under 20 minutes, which is fantastic. I can't wait for the rest of the toys to meet you. So we made it to Toy Story Land here at Disneyland. It's the same pretty much like the last one we were at. Construction wise it looks like. <coughs> this one uh, has a ride or two different. I know they still have the Slinky Dog ride back here. But then they have the army troops where you get on the thing and it drops you down. So you have that green pole. You got the green pole right there with the army troops ride. We're probably gonna look at that. That's the only one that was different from the Shanghai one. Still have got the race car. So we're gonna just keep trying to do any rides that might be different. We're gonna do Stinky Dog. I'm not gonna wait the time for it. But oh there it goes. Stinky Dog in the background. Oh, and there's the parachute. Toy soldiers, that was kind of cool. A dropping thing, not too scary, but it looks like a lot of fun. So now I've done two toy lands, and I haven't even done the one in California, or I think there's one in Florida too. So I need to catch up to my own home area and get on all the new stuff. So, gonna be a pineapple slush, pineapple slush Sunday here at Toy Land. It looks like it has little gummy bears, green gummy bears on it. The rest is supposed to be pineapple flavored, I guess. I'm gonna sit down and enjoy this for a little bit and then head over to Adventureland. So, we just finished eating that fantastic pineapple slush Sunday. It was like pineapple slushy. Vanilla ice cream on top and those little green things were like little gummy bears or gummy soldiers So they were it was delicious. It reminds me of the pineapple Dole Whip that you have over at Disney World um, Anyway, we're gonna go to this Mystic Manor and it says a 10 minute wait. So I'm gonna see what that is. I'm wondering if it's like our haunted house Have no clue. So we just finished the Mystic Manor. It was a fun little ride I think they use magnets or something to get this because there's no track so it just, the, the machine would roll around and go through this whole story um, where we're going through a museum and all the artifacts and everything comes to life and you have to get them back to its original state, like at the museum. So it was a fun little ride. 
Um, now we're like in adventure land, more toward where normally you would see Thunder Mountain and stuff like that. There's a little coaster right here. Grizzly Gulch. So we're gonna try to go find out where the entrance to this roller coaster is and ride it. So this fish, that roller coaster in the coal mines. That was that was a lot of fun going through the mines there on that roller coaster. It goes forward, then backwards, then to end it up you go really, really fast forward. It's like Thunder Mountain. Basically, so it was, a, it was a lot of fun. So now we're heading to see if we could find, I think they have a jungle cruise here. So I'm gonna try to hit the jungle cruise because that was my bucket list. Jungle cruise ride in a different country. And it wasn't at the last place, Shanghai. So I'm gonna get that done. And then probably, if there's nothing much else to do, it's a small park. We're gonna head out and try to find the night market here in Hong Kong. But first, definitely, got to do jungle cruise before we leave here. So they got the Tarzan tree house back here. It's just like the Swiss family Robinson house in Orlando. But you take that little boat, you load up here and then you go across the water and you enter over there. And it's just like from Tarzan. It's, you can see the boat loading over in the background. That's kind of cool. They have a lot of different rides here, and some of the same ones with a different twist. So big bummer here. Apparently, Jungle River Cruise is under refurbishment. So I kind of figured something was up when all the line was empty. So that's kind of a bummer when the one thing I wanted to do in at least one Disney outside the country was to do this Jungle Cruise and hear all the funny jokes but in a different language. I was so excited about that, so it's kind of a bummer that we won't be able to do it on this trip. But there's still Paris. Uh, that's the only Disney we haven't had a chance to do yet, so maybe they have the Jungle Cruise, maybe we'll do it then whenever we get a chance to go. So I guess we're gonna head back to the front and look for that night market when we exit this. So we started with the Will and Mickey, we end with the Will and Mickey. Sad to see you go, Disney. Till next time, I'm out. So we made it to the Temple Night Market here in Hong Kong. It is happening. Tons of food here. Tons of little shops and tons of people. stalls of uh, products and whatnot and it is crowded this is not the area for your personal space and the main thing here bargain to get a price pretty much everybody has the same stuff for the most part so just bargain and be careful it's cool running into all the people from the cruise ship that decided to do the same thing I'm doing shop in the market Buy little trinkets for family, little souvenirs, possibly eat at one of these little stalls or one of these restaurants, and just have a fun time at nighttime instead of being on the ship every single day. 
in the evening.